Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for those who have been following our channel, you probably know that we are using Bioflock to culture shrimps and within our Bioflock systems, we utilize a lot of settling tanks to remove out the excess flock to prevent the Bioflock from crashing. So today, I'll just go through some of the improvements that we have done on our settling tank filtration systems that we've been using in our Bioflock tanks. <laughs> So this is actually how our new settling tanks actually looks like. We made it a bigger version, this is actually about 500 liters per hour. And I'll show you the first the inlets of the settling tank. So as you can see, each settling tank is all equipped with a flow meter and a valve and also a check valve. So this actually prevents any backflow that were to occur if you turn off the pump because you don't want the sludge to flow back into the tanks. So on the top, it looks like this, it actually has a channel to support the piping that will support the sludge going into the central part of the tank and this is how the clear clarified water or the clear filtrate will flow out from the top back in the tank. So what's really different about this system, it has its own automation system. So we, here we utilize a ball valve to open the settling tank valve every 20 minutes for about 15 to 20 seconds depending on the settings. And here we have a drip tray in which the water full of sludge will then be filtered on top of a filter sheet. So here's the ball valve and how it looks like. And we also have a lever switch in which I'll demonstrate to you the purpose of this. And this is to prevent any overflow. Okay, so here we can see that we can manually or we can use a timer setting to turn off this ball valve, motorized ball valve, and you can see the water that is draining out is coming out into the filter sheet. Uh, in this case, we've actually been using just fresh water to test out the systems. So we have tried this ball off with the sludge, which is very high solid and it doesn't get clogged up or it doesn't stop. So we have tested it over a few times and we are quite satisfied with this ball that we're doing. So as you can see, as the sludge accumulates on top of the filter sheet, we can actually get clear water at the bottom in which this is actually being recycled manually back into the tank. Okay. So what is behind all of this is actually a circuit uh, that controls all the functions throughout this opening and closing of ball valve and ensuring no overflow help occurs in the tray. So one typical problem that you might have is sometimes the tray might be plugged up over some times of usage and you can see water level keeps rising and rising if the valve is not controlled. So what tends to happen is you can see just fast forward uh, as the water level rises and it turns on the level switch what it does, it actually quickly cuts off the ball valve to ensure that there is no more water coming to the drip tray. This is to prevent overflowing of sludge inside the system. Especially if you were to run an automated system, you don't want this to be happen. So that's all for this video. So I hope you enjoy and hope to see you back again at RS Aquaculture.